What is up tyrants? Many of you have been asking for a tutorial on video to video animation using Animate Diff. I spent weeks trying to get it to work within Animate Diff and could not. Many of you face the same issue. Now I am pleased to say that I have figured out a way to do this and can now make a video on the most requested tutorial so far. Now this style of animation will allow you to turn any video you want into an AI generated animation. And to do this, we're going to be using Stable Diffusion with the automatic 11.11 user interface. If you do not have that, you can install it using the directions in this video here. We're also going to use the Animate Diff extension within Automatic 1111. And if you need help setting that up, follow this video tutorial here. So without further chit chat, let's jump right in. All right, so let's start with the video that we will be using. So we want a video of someone dancing or moving or something. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using someone dancing because that is the trendiest way to use this method. And honestly, it looks pretty cool. I found this video of a woman on TikTok. I just typed in dancing and it goes. Me having a 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, that's a bit excessive, especially with control net and I animate diff. So I'm going to cut that video down from 9 seconds to about 3 seconds for the sake of this tutorial, because you will see that this process is very easy to do, but it takes a lot of computational power to do this. So now I have this. So to get started, once you have your video, it is also worth noting that the video that you're using is a higher FPS, around 30 to 60. Fucking fly. The video that you're using is around 30 to 60 FPS. Bro, this fly is pissing me off. The video that you're using is about 30 to 60 FPS. It would be worth noting that. This fucking fly is pissing me off, brother. It is worth noting if the video that you're working with is around 30 to 60 FPS, it may take a lot of power to create that many frames, especially if you're using a source video that is longer. So if you do the math, 30 FPS video that runs for 10 seconds, 300 frames. And if you add Animate Diff and Control Net into the mix, that is going to take a lot of power and a lot of VRAM. So to prevent that issue, I recommend going to one of the links in the description to bring you to this converter. Now this will allow you to lower the frame rate of the video. So I'm going to add my video in here. That get you. And then just keep it 512, 512. Then bitrate, we're just gonna leave the same. It doesn't really matter too much. You can also disable the audio as well. Just gonna start that. Now I'm just going to download it. And that got us this. A bit choppy, but it'll work for this purpose. And at the end, I'll show you a little trick to make the end result much cleaner. So now that we have our video formatted in the way that we want, it's time to brainstorm the kind of video we want to transform it into. So to be cliche, I'm going to do a cyberpunk robot chick. Animate diff at the time of recording this still is not compatible with SDXL models. So this will only work with a version 1.5 stable diffusion model. With that said, I'm going to be using the Dream Shaper 8 model as per usual. So I have enabled my textual inversions via my style, Bad Dream, and Fast Negative V2. Now we just need a prompt. As usual, I'm going to be using the Tyrant Prompt Generator. So I want a quick, high quality prompt in seconds. And I want to keep this short. So I'm going to do 20 words, cyberpunk ro robot woman. And just like that, we have our prompt. So I'm going to copy that then just paste that into the prompt. So down in the animate diff tab, make sure if you don't have the motion models, this video right here will show you everything you need to know. So enable animate diff, then we're just going to load this video. Now when you load the video into animate diff, it'll automatically populate the number of frames in the video as well as the frames per second 46 and 15 and these settings are perfect and that's all we need to do there you can if you have a beefy enough gpu run frame interpolation to make your animation a little bit smoother but i use topaz for this and i'll show you at the end of this video how to do that much more effectively so in the control net make sure you first Make sure you enable it, enable pixel perfect. And then for the control type, we're going to use open pose. And then for the preprocessor, go to DW open pose full, and then make sure the model is at open pose. And with that, that's all we need, we're ready to go. And then you generate. So if you go to the command prompt, you'll see that it's doing a bunch of stuff. Now this method does take a lot of time and I thought I was doing something wrong because it sat like this for like five to 10 minutes. 
but eventually it'll start generating. So be patient. And about three minutes later, we now have some signs of life. In the command prompt, it is showing that it is starting to generate. So now you can see it actually start to generate stuff, 5%. Now this threw me off too. So it's saying that it's going to take 52, about 53 minutes to generate this. It's lying, it's fucking lying. See, now it just jumped to 27 minutes. And you can see that we're about 15% and it's only been like four minutes. Like, so you can't base the actual time frame off of what it's saying here. It's full of shit. I mean, hopefully, for me, it is. I hope for your sake, it's not taking 50 minutes to generate. If it is, join the community in Tyrant Empire and we'll try to help you out. It's free to join, link is down below. And boom, and that is what I've got. So as you can see, it follows the movements pretty perfectly. Facial expressions are a bit off, but it looks really good. And let's be honest here, most of you perverts aren't even looking at the face. What's it gonna be? And you actually don't only need to use open pose for this in control net. There are a few other methods that you can use, which I'll show you real quick too. The next one is canny, which is edge detection. So it's going to detect the edges of the source video as opposed to just the pose. So instead of detecting the pose, which open pose does, it's going to detect the edges of everything. Preprocessor, canny, model, canny. Everything else, I'm going to keep exactly the same and generate. First off, you can see that it really resembles the source video, but it's also recognizing the black bars that we have in the source video as well. But this method is a great way to get an animation very, very close to the source image. Another similar control net setup would be to use the depth model. So for control type, just go to depth, then Midas, and then depth for the model. You can also play with the control weight a little bit on this one too. Anywhere from 0.75 to 1 is usually good. So we'll use 8 for this one. Then generate. With depth, you still get a lot of creativity, but you can still see that when she moves her arms like this, still kind of strays away from the pose a bit. So hopefully this gives you some guidance to lead you toward the result that you're looking for. Personally, I like the open pose method the most. So I'm actually going to try and generate a longer video, push my computer to its limit, and generate a 10 second animation. All right, 20 minutes and a bag of chips later, we now have a 10 second animation. It turned out pretty decently. There are a few frames where it generated a few extra arms. The hair is a bit inconsistent, and I'm not too fond of this kind of, what's the word? It's kind of synth wave color scheme going on. So I'm gonna change up the prompt a little bit, and then I'm going to regenerate. So back to the prompt generator, copy this, paste it in here, and generate. And here is the result of the second attempt. To get rid of a lot of these inconsistencies with the hair changing, the skin tone changing, I'm going to make the prompt a little bit more specific. So in the prompt, I'm going to add blonde hair and tan skin and generate. All right, and the end result is still questionable in terms of quality, but it looks decent. Not bad. For the sake of this tutorial, this is good enough for me. Now we're gonna bump up the quality of this animation by upscaling it to HD and interpolating the frames from 15 frames per second to 60 frames per second. And to do that, we are going to use Topaz, one of my favorite AI tools. So I'm just going to drag the animation to here. So then I'm going to take it from a 512 to 512 at 16 FPS to a 1024 by 1024 at 60 FPS. Going to turn the stabilization on just a little bit and use the jittery motion. Just use one pass at 50 strength. Can use frame interpolation, the enhancement AI with recover detail at 20 strength. Then we're going to run the preview. Not too bad. So you can see that the hands kind of blur out and the arms blur out a little bit. So I'm gonna turn the strength down to about 10. We'll go nine. Yeah, that looks. Eh, yeah, you have to be very careful with this stabilization model. So I'm just gonna turn it off. Oh yeah, that looks much better. Very crisp and clean. I would highly recommend Topaz to anyone who's serious about generative AI art and animation. Love this tool so much that I actually reached out to Topaz Labs to get an affiliate link so I could help them out and spread the word of this great software. And if you want to help me out and are interested in buying this software, affiliate link is down below. If not, that's fine. But you can clearly see the night and day difference that this tool presents. To get the most out of it, obviously you would want to make sure that your generation is perfect. But I like this. 
it's good enough for this tutorial so i'm just going to export all right that is the end of this tutorial hopefully you learned something and have sufficient knowledge to apply this technique and create animations of your own now i would love to see what you create so definitely join the tyrant empire for free down in the link below join our private community so you can share your art as well as be surrounded by like-minded individuals who are also very passionate about ai generated art digital creation in general as well as being surrounded by like-minded individuals looking to conquer their lives in all realms and with that said my friend i am out of here until next time keep conquering